Nope. Oh my god, there's just nothing. They are shutting down every single run play. Welcome, welcome everybody. We got another game today on the Georgia Tech Dynasty going on the road to play LSU in Death Valley. Should be a good one. Stadium's just uh, actually down the road from me here in Baton Rouge, so this should be pretty interesting with the five-yard lines and the crazy crowd. Uh, they're one and two, those haven't had an excellent season, but still, doesn't matter what any team's record is, we got to go in and smash them. Thanks for watching. Like the video, sub to the channel. Check out our last game against Oklahoma, instant classic, 26-15 the final score, but was a little bit closer than the score would suggest, so I'll tag it here. Encourage you to go watch it. And our season opener against Notre Dame was another great game, too. We had a game-winning touchdown in the final minutes, so season's been super fun so far. Every game's been close and competitive. I imagine this one will be close as well we also just did a recruiting episode so you know we kind of do that side of things too we do the game episodes recruiting episodes separate so check that out if you missed it check out all the recruiting episodes we've done this season all on the playlist i'll tag them right here as well we'll scout lsu look at the sliders and then play the game as we always do let's get into it just seems like they're lacking talent i think we said that last year pretty good quarterback here dual threat guy so got to keep him in the pocket running backs decent good speed a little small though, and then they got a backup who is more of a power guy. Wideouts, top wideouts good here. This Boone kid and then Swain and Matthews are decent. Overall, just speed. Um, tight end looks all right. Offensive line, weak on the left, weak in the middle. Really not that good. So perhaps we can get some pressure on these guys today with our D-line. Their D-line is not very good. They have some solid defensive tackles though. So on the inside, they're fine, but we might be able to get to the edges. Uh, great linebacker here. Patrick Hall, probably the best player. And uh, the other outside guy is pretty good, too. Corners, not good. Decently fast, but overall, not great. Safety's not good. So, yeah, just not a lot of talent on this LSU team. So, a lot of places we can attack. The kicker's their best player. So, that's how you know they're probably not a good football team. All right, LSU's 1-2. and two. They lost to Tennessee. It wasn't very close. And they lost to Georgia. Somewhat competitive. Only win against FCS West. So, I'm not talking about a whole lot here. Uh, our schedule, as I mentioned, both of these games are on YouTube. Our first home game is next week, so we finish out the three-game road trip to start out the season. And then our season stats haven't been a whole lot of passing numbers to talk about. It's been about the run game, and Josh Tucker is into the Heisman watch with what he's done so far. And then Sean Brown hasn't had 100 yards receiving yet, but maybe we can get him going today. But you know, we're a run-first team this year. That's our identity. It's worked so far, and we'll see if it works again today. Let's go get a win. Gotcha, bitch. Make a tackle. Yes. That's a three and out to start, baby. Got him. Go, Livingston. Yes, sir. Way to beat him one-on-one. -on -one. Come on, man. We got to get that block. Jeez. Mm. All right, decision. We'll take three here. Our defense got a three and out. I'm really confident in them after that, so we'll take our three and... Get back on D. Oh, come on, guys. Jeez, how many tackles are you gonna break? Cut, are you serious? Bro, this dude's going just completely crazy right now. You gotta be kidding me. That whole drive was all missed tackles. Every single play had at least one missed tackle. Get to the corner. Nice job, Livingston. First down. Nice throw. All right, Matt Little. Playing receiver a little bit. Nope. Oh my god, there's just nothing. They are shutting down every single run play. 
You gotta make that throw. He's wide open, dude. He's wide open. Another one. Another one, because why not? Like, this is the part of the sliders that really pisses me off. Like, these guys become, inst like, impossible to tackle. Yeah, sure, sure. He gets, like, an extra three yards because of the tackling animation. Like, it just all goes their way. Man, doesn't get home, really? Oh, get that! Ugh. Stay up! Oh, where are you going? Great hit by Tom Porter! Got it. Oh, that was terrible coverage. He just, they left him wide open. There you go. Keep blitzing on us, though, and stacking that box. You gotta score there, Sean. Come on, man. I hate when that shit happens. Like, we're going for the pick. I don't understand what happens there. He just doesn't go for the ball at all. Look at that should be picked by the safety. Whatever, man. Take your stupid touchdown. Yay! Oh. Whoa! How about you turn on the burner, Sean? Damn! Woo! His best play of the season right there! Good run, Little. Beat him. Man, I love this guy's speed. And he gets to the end zone. How about Jesse Livingston today? He's stepping up. Make that tackle, man. That's the only way they've scored today is broken tackles. Every single one of their touchdowns has been on a broken tackle. Yay! Oh, what a move, baby! Tucker for Heisman. Great run. This guy's coming alive in the fourth quarter, man. I'll tell you. Yo, yeah, you <laughs> We're playing with him at this point, man. Gotcha, bitch. Nice job. D Lions played well today. Gotta give him credit. Ha <laughs> ha! Boom! There it is. Livingston again. He was huge all day.
right, heck of a win. Let's go through the stats real quick. So Edwards finally had his time to shine today. 16 of 20, 336 yards, three touchdowns, no picks, and he wasn't sacked at all. That might be the best stat of all of them. Ground game was quiet until really the fourth quarter. Josh Tucker found a different level, and he hit it in that fourth. 18 carries for 61. LSU really shut him down for the most part. Their linebacker play was great, but he had some tough runs down the stretch to really get us the yards we need, and he had two touchdowns still on the day. On the day. So, you know, hard to complain about that. Passing game, finally, finally got a Sean Brown game today. Six receptions, 180 yards, long of 75, 110 after the catch, average of 18 and a touchdown. So that's the first round NFL receiver, Sean Brown, we needed to see. Jesse Livingston had some huge catches as well, four for 76 and a touchdown. Uh, and then Tucker had the game ceiling touchdown, three catches, 38 yards. So his Heisman campaign, got to be alive still. Defensively, Huggins leads us in tackles. He had three TFLs and a, uh, two sacks as well. He had his best game of the season. Uh, Chandler had a decent amount of tackles. A lot of missed tackles today, which I'm not happy about. But we defended the option well. That's why we got all these TFLs for all these guys right here. No picks, no deflection, or actually one deflection. Um, still want to get more you know, turnovers. We did force one in this game. Tom Porter had the forced fumble, and then McCoy had the recovery. So let's keep those coming. Team stats, really even game, but they had a lot of, you know, extra yardage, and our defense stopped them a few times. They had punts, and, uh, you know, just a lot of broken tackles, a lot of extra yards that just, I don't know, whatever. We did win the turnover margin again. We didn't do that at all last year, really. Also, on third down, we were money. Nine for 11 today. Again, not much of a run game, but the passing game picked up. Uh, you know, for that lack of a run game and overall, you know, that's why it's so hard to stop our offense. When we're clicking on all levels, they had us down early. They did. We couldn't run the ball, but we found ways to open up that run game and just expose them with the pass because we got great skill position players. So that's how it's done. All right, thanks for watching. That's now 3-0 and in another competitive game that we end up pulling away in. But, you know, learning more things about our team. When we can't run the ball like we want to, we can still win with the pass and avoid making mistakes and pick up third downs and just methodically move down the field. So... We got a really good team. We just played in one of the most, you know, hostile environments there is in college football, and it really didn't affect us all that much. And we're now 3-0, headed back home for a home opener next game. So got to love the start. The offense is playing well. The defense is forcing turnovers, getting pressure, getting key stops. Got to work on that tackling still. It's probably sliders pretty much, but they're playing well. We got a good team. We got to keep it up. Can't take any opponent for granted. We didn't today. So proud of the effort. Thanks again for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell for the post notifications. Appreciate you guys watching. 3-0, on to the next one, and recruiting. Go Jets! Bye-bye.